it really felt like um, acquiring a new superpower, I would say, because <laughs> I, I realized that when you apply these first principles, it's not just consulting, you can pretty much apply this to every decision that you need to make, every major decision you need to make in life, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to define the question, trying to then um, logically structure and break it down into elements and then mm -hmm. address each element in particular and then segment and identify trends, all of that it helped me tremendously. Even in my interviews, I started to naturally, when I was asked a question, I started to naturally structure my answer based on the logic and the first principles. Even the non-case questions, yeah. they still be structured, and that's what I did. Even some very untrivial questions that were asked, they, thanks to your coaching and your training, they became so, this, this kind of logical thinking became so institutionalized that yeah. through that thinking, I was able to answer them in a, in a more structured, yeah. consulting sort of way. Yeah. So yeah. it was absolutely, absolutely valuable. I think that uh, what stood out in going through the process with you was basically kind of two things. One was just capabilities building, um, the core problem solving skill set and the way that you approach it, which is distinct and unique relative to any other offering that I was able to find. Just, you know, um, very rigorous top-down approach to applying a very brutally logic logical um yes. you know uh yeah uh solution Sometimes to, to solve the problem logical right <laughs> yeah and um as an experienced hire that's essential to really hone hone, hone. Uh, and then the other is confidence building. So aside from yeah. just the, the preparation that you and I did, I mean, the piece that was that took me from, you know, kind of uh, crawling around in the dark and feeling my way through the tunnel to very fluidly treating these as conversations was just the volume of practice that you were able to enable me to have through the Mentee yeah. Network. And this really helped sharpen um, the way I approach problems and improve that as well. Uh, rather than me just memorizing ideas, okay, in market entry, I need this, or in the oil and gas industry, I need to remember that, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, you need uh, carbon dioxide injection to get the <laughs> oil out. You know, those very, very specific things. Yeah. Um, and that really helped me to um, know that I can tackle any problem. I think I was able, even at the beginning of each interview process, to show that I'm an analytical person and whatever problem they throw at me, I can handle in some way. You yeah. can structure it and then you can uh, define the objective and go on from there. Mm -hmm. And I, that was something, uh, when they noticed that, and I think that was, again, that was part of the feedback, when they noticed, okay, he, I can give him the problem and he will do it well, uh, it gave them a great feeling and uh, also a, a pretty comfortable feeling. I looked through uh, for the usual case books and I was like, this is, I can remember all these frameworks and, and how, how do I identify which one to use? And yeah. you know, getting, getting this logic in that, okay, we have to focus on the question and nothing else but the question yeah. uh, has, has really helped me uh, in that. I mean, yes, then we have talked about the three main uh, main ways of looking at, at cases or different types of cases but mm -hmm. but but still the the main logic is the same across all these three it's focused on the question and only the question yeah. and yes. that logic has really really helped me because once i just i mean my process in the interview was to to really clearly state the question not just repeating the prompt but mm -hmm. focusing in on the objective as you always yep. always uh, told me too as well <laughs> uh, and this has really uh, really helped me a lot uh, yep. especially also in, in, in the cases i mentioned that were yep. a yep. bit odd because i mean one of them was assessing a strategy of, uh, i've never done this before how to do it and then yep. oh okay so what is actually the question here is it have you met the goals in strategy and then moving on from there there are two main things and the first one is that uh, I was less nervous because I, I didn't have the feeling I had to memorize some kind of frameworks <laughs> yes. um, and the second point is that I think we, we build up the muscle of more or less solving every case um, because if you learn these uh, these frameworks by heart you you always want to apply the framework 
but often like the case is not perfectly suited for for the framework and then you run into problems um, and if we or, or what we did we build up this case solving muscle and really asking like what do i actually need to solve the case mm. um, and if you got that then you are able to like with your yeah more or less with your own thoughts come up with the right solution and answer um, and this actually also helped me in this online case at, uh, with bcg yeah, yeah. because uh, th there you get the question uh, you have uh, a case and then they ask you like which kind of information do you need to solve the problem and this was exactly what that what then helped me i draw down the structure for myself yeah. and i knew these are the, the the three things that i need i was able to click them and uh, i was uh, i mean i think I, I did did okay otherwise i probably wouldn't have gotten the answer so i yeah. think this 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 case muscle also then helped me for for the online case as well when i when i re reflect now what really helped me is like to stick to the structure believe in the structure and that this is not it's but like structure is not in the right word like it's to stick to this kind of thinking right to stick to the logic that yeah. if you approach a case by a logic then you can solve it if you approach it by a framework you might get lost or you very likely get lost and this was exactly where i was right i, I used frameworks and got stuck and lost because they didn't fit the case but then i got a case tried to apply logic on how to solve the case and then everything was easy and then i had so much mental space to focus on the other issues that i had i, I was struggling with and yeah, that was yeah. uh, really nice we had interviews with three partners uh, from different uh, practices across the firm and you know in terms of the cases i felt um I did pretty well on the cases in the first round. So in the yeah. final round, they didn't, they didn't really want to test um, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Actually, uh, yeah. So I felt it was like uh, really enjoyable and um, really enjoyed speaking with all the partners. When you have this approach, when the interviewer is going to challenge you, because one of the three interviewers in the last interview will surely challenge you a lot. So if you have a very clear thought, you are able to stand and explain your thinking in every situation and this is exactly and especially from my senior partner the senior partner yeah. has challenged me you know challenged me over over 25 times a lot of a lot of follow-up questions you one and a half hour interview i was yeah. completely exhausted after this interview <laughs> but i had in my mind you know these principles that everything that i did and everything that i said was uh, connected to the to, you know to the goal and the initial you know fundamentals so yeah. i was able to connect it and this was very uh, very good for me for my confidence and for how i will i communicated i am grateful that i get to embark the, embark on this journey to rigorously practice a way of thinking and communicating and i got a job so that's like the big bonus toward the end thank you cd you were absolutely uh, essential to my uh, to my self-confidence and my progress for the preparation I really don't think I could have achieved this without you. And uh, I really wish that more people who are serious about entering the consulting industry knew about your preparation, because it's, uh, it's really good if you're, not, uh, if you're not a genius or that you're not overly confident in your abilities to, to find the right resources and practice partners.